Have you ever actually heard uh, Andrew Tate speak? Because I hadn't until fairly recently. I, I have ne- I I am sure I have in clips, but I've never heard him. I've never I've never paid attention to him for more than a few seconds. Yeah, he's not my. Uh, you know, he's not. I'm not his target audience. I'm like over thirteen. Um. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But we, 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 when neither of us are his target audience, we've both done it with a lady <laughs> before. Yes. Um. But yeah, I I heard a clip recently um, of him, and he's talking about like water, like the the type of water he drinks. He starts ranting about um, only drinking bottled sparkling water because you know okay. normal water from the tap is free. But the way he says water, it's like he's it's like he's trying to say it in a way that's not like just. You know, not anything. I, quick, not very like quick lazy sidebar, British was, pronunciation, like water. No, water. I wasn't. Like I was, that's. I that... wasn't going to mention it. Very, very quick sidebar, but I've just bought a Brit, a Brit like a a cheap Brit filter, <laughs> uh, so that I can drink, so that I can drink tap water because it's been pissing me off how how much because I drink quite a lot of water, mm. and um, like yeah, just it's been pissing me off how much like the, the bottles pile up, so right. um. Yeah, not very interesting, but just vaguely related to what we were saying. Um, you, yeah, anyway, you literally sorry, can't on. drink tap water in China, can you? Because of the like, it'll just make you ill. Yeah, unless yeah, basically yeah. Um, so I've been boiling it and then running it through the filter, and it's yeah. And and the, th- the thing is, it doesn't taste great, but I'll I'll drink that some of the time, and then they'll buy a bit of bottled water, but yeah. So yeah, you said water a few times then, and you you know it's like water. That's like their sort of lazy English pronunciation of water, isn't it? It's not like overpronounced or it's just a bit you know it's just our lazy language. <laughs> well, it's like a very it's yeah well it's a very um so so uh to put my uh, linguist hat on for a moment, which you know mm-hmm. is what I did do at graduate school. Uh, the technical term for that is a glottal stop. Right. Which I think it's quite ironic that you can't so that you can't pronounce the thing that it is without potentially using it several times. Like a glottal stop. Glottal stop. A glottal stop. Yeah, I a mean stop, that's... a glottal stop. Hey. Pretty, yeah, that is quite interesting. But yeah, but yeah you know, so if you wanted is, to uh, not use a glottal stop, you'd say water, water, right? But he says or, water. water, water. If you if you're Amer- if you're American, you might say water with like a D sound, like water. But in in this clip, he's going water, water. You don't like water, and he's and he's having an imaginary. Imag- he does this a lot. He has an imaginary argument with someone who he doesn't exist, like a fictional, yeah, a, upset person, hypothetical. Yeah, a hypothetical person. He's going he's t- water. Tilting a, he's tilting at windmills in some sense. Yeah, you don't like water. You don't like oh, but the bubbles. And the thing is, he he pronounces words so weird, but then he lets himself slip because in later on he's like water. It's like he'll just say it in the you know the sort of light, lazy pronunciation of it, like water. Yeah. But then when he's like purposely, it's like he's he's trying to sound more educated than he is like like he that's his perception of how someone who's well educated pronounces water right. they yeah. go water yeah. i mean bubbles it's like it's like it's like how i think you said before that like donald trump's a great example of of what very poor people very poor stupid people think a very rich clever person is like <laughs> yeah yeah and i think you know oh. Obviously, Andrew Tate appeals to, or somehow, to a certain target audience of, uh, I suppose, I mean, incels, I maybe. A, quite, incels. A lot, quite a lot of crossover. Yeah, incels and, and yeah, drawing is, you know, it, it's, it's I, 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 you know what, I could be wrong. I imagine that he's pretty poorly educated. It's a, a very, a very badly educated pers- person's idea of what educated people sound like yeah and uh, well I, I tend to agree because his takes are bullshit like all the time 
You know, he's the bus shit mm-hmm. takes on everything. Um, I mean, this whole argument I watched was him arguing about like bubbles hurting or t- himself. F- feeling bad when you drink bubbles, they tickle your mouth or something. Um, but he's got this like everything to him, everything makes you gay, right? And I think the most recent one I saw, he, he'd written a tweet or an X or he, no, I'm not going to call it an X, it's a tweet about saying that kissing women is gay, right? So. Um, that's, literally, that's literally a Simpsons joke. That's literally yeah. a Simpsons joke. It's... <laughs> uh, when like Nel- Nelson's like like sort of going on a date with Lisa or whatever, at least uh, Jimbo and, and the bullies are like, you kissed a girl. That is so gay. <laughs> like it's, it's literally the the opinion of like the bullies from the Simpsons from the nineties. I mean, I think that's <laughs> his target audience, right? Jimbo and the crew. Yes. That's who he's I, actually so, like. Yeah. That's who his takes like, you know, a model after. Um I think he, he looked a bit like Kearney. <laughs> um <laughs> He's got a very weak chin, I'll give him that. Very weak. Yeah. Um but you yeah. know, so this so, is one so of, any, yeah. This is one of the many things, things that he things says that, is gay. Things that make you gay. Things right. that make you gay, according to Andrew Tate. I, I want to get into this. So let's. How about let's let's go through them one by one and say, and we can each say whether that's something you do or something you've ever done. Well, to give a bit of context, is that... on, on there was a, a thread on Reddit regarding this this tweet. Basically, said it kissing a woman's gay because like women like men and stuff, and like you know, unless it's unless it's a, a virgin, unless it's a woman who's never had sex then, you know, that, that woman's kissed other men and that you're essentially kissing other men. But I would say, go, going further from that, a woman is just a man's grown-up lord. So, yes, kissing women is gay, full stop. I think we covered this in the past. <laughs> You've made this argument before, yeah. You've made this <laughs> argument before that, that, uh, that, uh, that a woman is just a bit of semen that, that grew, grew up. up. <laughs> that, that developed. In... All jokes aside, though. It's just a bit of cheers. It's just a bit of jizz. It's just a spermatozoa that, that, that has developed into a full-grown human being. But it is, it is essentially, yeah, uh, let's, post-spunk. Let's put the misogyny and the jokes aside and um, just jump. It's not a joke. Like, well, that's just truth, man. I, I was going to say, <laughs> let's put that aside and then go into this list that a Reddit okay. user had put together. Okay. Um, that makes basically a list of many things that make you gay, according to Andrew Tate and other alpha male social media uh, influencers. So, citation needed. One of these almost the first one almost immediately contradicts this argument Andrew Tate was having with himself about what what water. Um, the first one is carrying a water bottle in public. Like he says, he only Always drinks he only drinks sparkling I, I, water in bottles, right? So he yeah. has to do that okay. occasionally. So immediately, you know, that kind of proves Andrew Tate is gay, I, maybe closeted. I but... rarely, I wait. Hang, hang on. I, 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 hang on. I've confused myself. That I was going to say firstly that I'm rarely, I rarely leave the house without my water bottle, oh, like my that's reusable so gay, man. one. Uh is that what we're saying? Are we saying that, that that's gay? Or are we saying that that's not gay? I'm, no, I'm this a bit is, confused This now. is the I'm list just... of things that make you gay. Like... I, so, no, but I mean, I'm, I'm confused as to what, what Andrew Tate's point was. Is he saying it's gay to drink water? I or don't know. It, I tell you... See, you know this... what the pronunciation has just reminded me? Do you know what that pronunciation has just reminded me of, by the way? It's just occurred to me. It reminds me of that scene in um in fucking Men in Black when the alien puts the guy's skin on and he's like, give me sugar in water. <laughs> yeah, like, that's it basically he sounds, is. He sounds, like I'm picturing Andrew Tate doing that. Like, his, fa- his face doing that. Like, yeah. You know, and then the wife. And he's like, how do your skin's hanging off your face? And he, like, pulls his skin up. Like, is that, is that better? You know? It sounds like fucking... He sounds like fucking Cookie Monster or something in that scene, you know? Like, give me water like and cookie. Give me, give me sugar in water. Water. <laughs> cookie. 
All right, so this this is quite a long list, so I'll try uh move on. Some of them aren't as interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, but okay. carrying a water bottle just in pu just, just, public. Just, just briefly, just briefly, is that something you do? Yeah, I mean, yeah, because I, you know, I like go some places. I might be exercising. I might go on a bike or yeah. for a little jog, and I'm not just no. going to like dehydrate and parch myself just because I don't want to look gay. Apparently, um, carrying a water bottle around. I don't mind if you know if carrying a water bottle makes me look gay. Whatever, it's um. It's it's required um, the, in the, some the circumstances. The thing is, it really, it really, it, it really doesn't. I, I think <laughs> most of these are going to be as nonsensical as that. Like I've never, I've never seen a man carrying a water bottle and being like, "Oh, he's he's carrying a water bottle. He must be gay." <laughs> like, I know exactly. I've never, like, I, I mean, I'm guessing they're mostly going to be like this. What, what what's the, what's the next one? So this one is belt bags, and I'm not sure what these are. These are like those, you know. Um, do they call Bum, them like Bum fanny bags. sacks is that what you mean? in America? You know the the thing that sort of sits on the front of your crotch and it's like a, a, a bag. A, a bum bag. A what? You call so, it a bum bag in in a bum. A, a bum, bum bag, yeah. A bum bag. Uh, the thing is, I'm not. In, in Britain, but then, but yeah. <laughs> you do say it fanny does... sacks. I'm, I think I think Americans call them fanny packs. Yeah, fanny, fanny sacks. <laughs> <laughs> bum bags funny sacks it just sounds it sounds like a part it of anatomy just, doesn't it it, sounds, it just sounds like a fucking insult or something. You, the thing is right i know it's a hilarious like the, the whole term is quite funny i don't actually i don't i don't remember the last time i've ever seen anyone wearing one of these like I think I, f uh, I, I feel think, like they used to be more common than they are. In the, I think, yeah, I think in the nineties, in sort of the eighties, nineties, they they were a bit more of a thing. Mm. And I, I definitely had one at one point when I was when I was a kid, like sort of in the nineties. Uh, and it was quite, I think it was quite garish and sort of, it was made of like polyester and like, you know, it was in like sort of high high vis colors type of thing. Yeah. It, was, it was you know it was a horrible thing, but it wasn't it wasn't particularly gay. It was gauche. Yeah. You know, it was it was tacky, but it wasn't gay. Uh, if, yeah, if anything, it was ungay. Good... Yeah. If, if yeah, if any if anything if anything, it was ungay. Like no I, no no self respecting gay man would wear anything that tacky. Yeah. You know? I think yeah they are, they do kind of, kind of tend to those sort of eighties ones. They were sort of in line with I suppose eighties like fashion, which tended to be a bit tacky at times uh. but yeah i don't see people uh, very much so yeah i don't know i don't think it's tate's influence on you know fanny sacks fanny packs sorry i've never <laughs> heard him called fanny sacks i love that that really tickled me fanny um, sacks <laughs> i don't think it's tate's influence on these that has made them like dwindle in popularity i just think that um they're just oh, I, not they, all that practical they've not been and it, well yeah because the, well there's there's the more um there's the sort of 80s 90s like garish ones and then there's so, the summer which is kind of the same thing but not which is the money belt hmm. which um which I've, I've seen occasionally and they're a bit smaller and they're usually in like very sort of toned down color and i guess the idea is if you're going traveling somewhere that's a bit dodgy oh yeah sort of wear like it and you put your passport and your cash in yeah, but you sort of it's sort of hidden as well, so you yeah, sort of under you wear it under your, your jacket or whatever. So, yeah. Yeah. So if you get mugged or whatever, then you wouldn't, and you you know you might give them your wallet, but you've got your passport and your all your all your really important stuff in your fanny sack. Um, <laughs> no, your 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 money money belt they're usually called, but I I've never really seen that much point in them. Uh, it's usually for yeah, it's just for. Trouble, I, I associate them with like with like overweight middle-aged people who are who are overly nervous about going traveling and are going to you know Mex mexico for the first time and the, assume that they're going to get mugged you can hold you can they're hide it in a fold in a, can't you you can hide it in a fold flesh fold right, yeah <laughs> they assume that they're going to get mugged in uh uh you know everything all-inclusive resort in acapulco <laughs> so wait so... i mean i think we agree that they're not really that gay are they belt bags oh they're definitely not gay 
they're not they're not cool, but they're not gay. This one, like, they're not this, gay at all. Yeah, the next one um, is you know, it's liking women. All right, so liking women is gay, and yeah. I think by this it means like you know having respect and liking women and actually you know getting on with women and not just thinking women are like for one thing like only but the, is is there any more detail included or is i mean that's your interpretation or is it there says any more de- cause, liking women I, I, i'm assuming it... in brackets it says especially if the woman in question shows masculine traits such as having muscles hmm so uh, I mean, okay. I think I mean, I, having I, more I, than I mean, I was, everyone has I, I, muscles. I would, I'd, be, I'd be concerned if she didn't have any muscles. But I think what it means is like you know, visible muscles, like in shape, yeah, like an in shape woman. But liking women, women, right, full sure. stop. I mean, the th- the thing is, I don't particularly like people. <laughs> um, in general, I think I think most people can fuck off and die. I mean, um, that includes women, but. I don't. I don't think I particularly like or dislike women more than men. You know, as people. Yeah, I think this should be, f- from as far as I understand Tate and his followers, I think it should be posed as not hating women. Like if you <laughs> if you're straight, you should hate yeah, yeah. hate women. Like yeah. you I, should. Uh, I yeah. said hate. No. Then like Andrew Tate probably said hate, hate, hate women. Hate, hate, hate. You hate, hate women. <laughs> you, you hate woman. You hate woman. A woman, yeah. Um, woman. <laughs> like I like. Cave, I hate man. woman in in in, in, in water. <laughs> <laughs> I am under the water. Please help me. Have you seen that <laughs> meme? That Indian oh, guy. Oh, he jumps. It's like a really poorly edited. Uh, he's like stood in front of like a. a um, puddle or something he jumps in and then he just ed- edits it so it's just the a still image of him slowly getting smaller as well goes into the water and then he just goes hello i am under the water please help me and that's it and it's just fucking hilarious <laughs> is it, I, mean, I mean is it meant to, is it was it was it meant to be funny or is it like is it funny how bad how bad the editing i, I have no i like have no idea action? I don't know what possessed him okay. to to make it, but it is just hilarious because it is really badly edited. Yeah, yeah. And then just his like polite "Hello, I am under the water. Please help me." At the end, <laughs> just he's like yeah, yeah, polite yeah. enough to say "Hello." I think he says "How are you?" Actually, or something <laughs> I can't remember. But anyway, um, yeah. So I think it is more just not hating women because they're just like yeah, they're yeah, like yeah. women of uh, like. We were enough for shagging in that state. The rest of it, you know, they're just knobheads otherwise. Like, it's just that, as I said, Andrew Tate's takes on everything is just shit. Um, I, I'd agree. From what I from what I know about him, I think that that's probably a pretty fair assessment that it is essentially, yeah, it's not liking women, it's it's failing to hate women makes you gay. Yeah. yeah. So. I'd, 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 go, I'd go along with that. Um, what's, what's next? Eating. <laughs> <laughs> so this one and um <laughs> this is so fucking weird as well because i've actually seen the context of this um it's okay. another absolutely batshit crazy tweet from him basically saying he hates to eat and he only eats as much as he needs to and as fast as he can but this guy is like isn't he like a, an athlete or you know he's like a kickboxer he has to work out and stuff, so I'm sure he has like a very specific diet he has to stick to. And also, didn't he dox himself by ordering pizza to like poke fun at um, Greta Thunberg? Is that how you say her name? The uh, something like that. Yeah, yeah. The, the, I, I, yeah. We all we all know who you mean. The activist, because she like. Yeah. Oh, she. Oh, she. She took the piss out of him because of some pizza-related joke, and he got arrested because of it because he gave away his address. Um. So yeah, I mean, he's obviously he eats pizza and food. Like everyone has to eat food, but <laughs> apparently it's like right, that, that's, some that's the thing. Like by, by definition, thing. any everyone is gay. Like that's the thing. It's 
Yeah. There's no one who doesn't eat. <laughs> like. And then the next one is cooking. So as well as like eating, cooking food is um, like you, you can't cook. If you, you know, the straight alpha male doesn't need to cook or eat or eat. Um, they photosynthesize, I suppose, just the, the plants. Just, You're a yeah, plant. They, just, they, they, yeah, they're mitochlorians or whatever. Just, just fucking <laughs> photosynthesize straight, straight from the fuck their own fucking from their from their nards to their fucking <laughs> glucose <laughs> scores in their body. <laughs> like, they're gonads. <laughs> like. mm. It doesn't um, say. I don't think it says drinking anywhere like, on here. So maybe it is just like they they drink smoothies. Everything's smoothied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is it's, I, I don't know. That actually sounds kind of gay. But they can't, they can't, it's, it's it seems yeah like having every all your liquids are a bit jizzy. <laughs> well, yeah. Of, I mean, jizz is like a liquid. You know, and you're having all your meals in jizz. Well, form. it's just, it, it's like it's more yeah it's more like a a, a smoothie. It's it's like. Yeah, it's it's not a full on liquid. It's not like water or, or or beer. It's got that sort of loopiness to it, that, that, yeah. you know, like a smoothie or or jizz. I don't know. Seems a bit sus so far. But so but so far, what have we done? Five, and I think I either regularly do or at least have done all of them on the list so far. I know. Yeah. I mean, um, you're doomed, mate. This list keeps going. This like I, I'm I'm the Uber gay. I got, I got, Okay. <laughs> I'll okay, keep going. Well, let's let's go over a, cu- a couple more of the high. Uh, yeah, uh, a couple All more right, of the so highlights, maybe or uh... liking colors. Can't like colors. Liking liking colors. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. You know, like if you've got, you know, oh, I quite like, you know, purple. Purple's quite a good color, or something like that. Um, I mean, I I do a, I do a bit. Like I mean, I appreciate I don't know. things like, in color. It, yes, I would. I, I think it would suck if everything was black and white. Like a dog, yeah, like if, if, a dog. If, if, and yeah, if I could, yeah, if I could, if I could press a button and everything was black and white, would I? No, <laughs> I, no. Um, <laughs> like I, I, I think, I think it's it's better to have colours than not. I, I quite like them. Yeah, they're wearing all right. wearing like, glasses I, is the I, next one. I, well, I do that as well. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm short, so I I usually wear contacts, but I I do wear glasses quite a bit. Yeah, I have to um, wear glasses prescription. But what, I think it's, apparently it's day to, it, it, isn't it, isn't it, it's like 50 percent of people I think are short sighted. Mm. Yeah, mo- but you're most supposed to just get on with it, least... Matt. Just get on with it. Just struggle. Yeah. Just you know, just get well, on just... with it. Struggle. A real alpha masculine straight man would just struggle. They wouldn't wear glasses. They wouldn't oh. f- fix their problems with an easy oh. prescriptive. Oh, so prescribed solution oh i do i do wear glasses and i've worn i've had glasses since i was about um nine or ten something like that and i've i've had uh contact lenses since i was about 17 or 18 and i do wear contact lenses most of the time and i think i do i do try to avoid wearing glasses when i'm out and about uh because i i I do think that i i look a a bit nerdy with glasses on (laughs) um I do. I do wear them out and about sometimes, but I also, I also have. I've got, I've got this thing recently where I actually will wear glass, wear my glasses because I think they make me look a bit more intelligent. Right. It's a very, it's a very like this is an insight into my vanity, you know. But um, yeah, no, of course, I, I absolutely wear glasses. So, you give, you fuck off, like. <laughs> yeah, sort of. I mean, I wear mine pretty much all the time because I have to wear them for work um, because I can't read up properly otherwise I, I mean it didn't used to be as bad until i actually started wearing them, wearing them regularly but now it's just um just oh, habit. I so just you pushed out you decided to be gay is, is, yeah. what, is what tape would say you put you pushed out you decided that that was the, that was the moment you decided to be a homo i'll go <laughs> pretty much exactly when you started that wearing... <laughs> uh, and if you keep bashing me you're gonna make me fall into the next you know gay um. Uh, what's the word? Well, the oh. the next bit that makes me gay. Crying, crying makes you gay. Okay. You can't cry. Okay, okay. I love. I. You know what? I. I. We actually. We. Um. 
in in my my class this week at, at uni, uh, we had a, like a whole. It's part of the chapter we're working on right now. A whole debate about like, is it okay for men to cry? And basically, all all my students said, yeah, it's it's all right. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Um, I I, lo- I I love a good cry. I actually I I I think when I was a bit younger, when I was when I was a, like a a kid or a teenager, I was like really like not willing to let myself cry these days i'll cry i'll cry at all i'll i'll cry at like um if i'm just watching a film or what it, it's it doesn't even have to be a sad film i'll just be watching you know um I'll just be watching alan partridge or whatever and i'll i'll, have, I'll be like crying <laughs> feeling sad for him embarrassed embarrassed um, crying i guess yeah yeah um <laughs> i mean i don't obviously crying is a very sort of personal emotional thing and it happens for you know it's kind of sadness or some some other reason you know maybe potentially if you're like overjoyed um but i wouldn't say i cry very often i've i've always i've always i've always that that one of the greatest joys in life i think is to cry laughing yeah. It's happened occasionally. On, it's happened occasionally on this podcast, but yeah, one of my greatest joys in life is uh, in life is to laugh so much that I end up crying. But I, I, I mean, I, I don't. I wouldn't say it's gay to cry. It's um, it's a very personal thing. I think you just. No. I, I mean, obviously, this whole list is nonsense. Well, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, like, I mean, I think we can just dismiss all of them as being. Is that actually gay? Yeah. Uh, I haven't heard most of them yet, but yeah. But no, um, it's definitely something I do. I think it's something I'd, I'd recommend. I think it's, I think actually there was a bit of a turning point for me where I'd, I'd sort of not let myself when it was younger because it wasn't, not that it was gay exactly, but it was a bit sort of soft or unmanly. Mm. Um, and then I think there was a bit of a turning point where I read that actually apparently having a bit of a cry, it sort of releases certain hormones. Like they're actually ex- excreted in your tears. And by doing that, it, it makes you feel a bit better. And it's true. If you do it, I and I and like I said, I'm a total cry baby these days. I cry all the time. I cry at the drop of a hat. Uh, <laughs> cry in the not so much in, in pub- the line for like uh, I don't know, like takeaway. Just start crying, and then people at you to the front. <laughs> so I mean, it's a you know, it's it's a good way to you know get what you need if you can just cry on demand. <laughs> Uh, I can't hear you, man. Oh, can you not? No. <laughs> you were just, were you just like crying? I was crying. I was doing like I was doing a bit. Yeah, did my mic cut out because I was too my voice was too high off. I think so. Maybe yeah. It doesn't recognize like oh, okay. a. I, was... I mean, maybe dogs could have heard you, but I didn't. I couldn't hear you. It was... Wasn't that? I was well. No, I was doing a bit where I was like. Oh. Papa Doms. Oh, no. <laughs> Papa <I did>. Doms. <laughs> I ones, but I wanted the ones with cumin. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. The mic cuts it out. Fucking hell. Someone's parked an ice cream van right outside me. Fuck you, window. Can you hear it? Ice cream. Brilliant. <laughs> I, 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 I thought I could hear uh, some of them. Yeah. I cry. <laughs> um. All right. So. Is like, eating ice cream, gay. Uh. No. Oh, oh eating, eating's I, gay. I mean, yeah, I, I, shit, eating's I, gay. Eating's but... gay. So yeah, obviously it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I forgot myself. All right. So okay. What? Saying what else, hi or what good morning. Saying hi or good morning to someone as you know, like to greet them. That's gay. Um. That's. I mean. Yeah. Everyone does that. That's just stupid. Masturbation yeah. is apparently gay. Um. <laughs> You're which... touching your dick. You're touching your knob. Yeah, you are. <laughs> or an anus. Doesn't or matter both. whether you're ma- doesn't matter doesn't, ma- doesn't matter whether you're masturbating over men, women, or sheep. It's gay because you you you're, you're touching a knob with your hands. Is having a piss gay? Um, if you touch your knob, yeah. You just have to sort of work it out without like touching it. Touching it with your hands, but even if, I, I, unless you're just walking around pantsless all the time. Yeah, I think you just have to drop, like your, dro- drop your entire yeah, trout. You have to. In the, right, you know, yeah, in the urinal. Yeah, yeah. But even, even then, you're even then you're technically indirectly touching it. I mean, you, you know. 
No, because, well, as long as you don't touch it, you just drop the trowel, the whole trowel. Because then it's just, you the know. Whole, the whole thing, the whole the whole lot. And then just pull it back, pull them back up without touching, you know, just give your hips a little shake. That's yeah. a, In fact, doing that sounds like I'm envisaging myself doing that. And that really, that I, 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 feels. That's a very crowded urinal. A very yes. crowded urinal at like, at, like, at like a football match. Not like, trying to insult like... gay people or anything, but. Doing that would make me feel no, quite gay, because it'd be, yeah. you know, I'd be. Gay, I mean, gay's not quite. I, I know exactly what you mean. Not I don't gay. know if gay's quite the right word, but it it feel, it feel yeah, it feel like there was there was something going on there that that was, yeah. <laughs> you, all right, <laughs> like, gay's not quite the right word, but like a dumbass. That's what I meant. I'd feel like a dumbass doing that. <laughs> well, a bit of both, maybe. Gay like, dumbass. Like, I mean, <laughs> gay, gay, gay people can be dumbasses as well. It's not. It's not the. Um, it's not the the sole preserve of the heterosexual. Yeah. Dumbass. I might cut that bit out. <clears throat> um. All right. So statistics. And this, I don't understand this one. Statistics, like, you know, sixty percent of the time it works every time, kind of stuff. Like, why? Why is what's gay about statistics that? Statistics are gay. Yeah, <laughs> just, I mean, statistics are. They kind of are. gay. I think I kind of I, I'm almost going to agree with that. Kind of are a bit gay. Statistics. I, I, I like, think I think that's I think that's the stu- I think that's the stupidest thing I've ever fucking heard. I think that the, <laughs> the type of pe- people, the type of person who's who's like like quite into statistics is someone a bit like me maybe who's like quite. Quite a he- like a nerdy hetero man, you know. I definitely mm. don't think. Yeah, I, I think I think that statistics are definitely not gay, and I think that a hundred percent of the people who who disagree with me must must have something wrong with them. <laughs> well, you know, I, I disagree a little bit. I think it is a little bit gay, you know, to be like, <laughs> well, I... one in five people will, um, you know, one in five be gay. people. Don't be gay. Um, actually, it's yeah. Well, no. It, again, all right. No, it's not gay. Statistics are gay. Of course, they're not. What a stupid statement yeah. to make. Whoever said that, and I don't know if it was Tate or one of his little batty boys. Um, it's but... one of his fanny sacks. <laughs> yeah. The next one you'll love. Autism. Okay. Will I? <laughs> okay, so what I was skir- skirting around with the last comment, actually, what when I said, like, stereotypically heterosexual nerdy men, I was actually almost, I was this close to saying autistic, autistic <laughs> men <laughs> love, st- love statistics. They, yeah, I like, mean, they're pretty so it's, it's, grouped together, these in the list, aren't they? Immediately. Statistics, so the, so, autism. Yeah. So, so I mean, I would say that that actually, from my understanding of of of, uh, of it being a, being a, an Aspie, really, is that in many ways it's 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 having a an overly sort of stereotypically heterosexual male sort of mindset and look at things. Mm. For example, liking statistics. Um, he really can fuck off and die, can't he? <laughs> I mean, it's just, it doesn't even say, he, I mean, not necessarily that you are autistic makes you gay, but the whole, you know, autism, everything about autism is gay. Like having it, oh, oh, so discussing wait. it, like, okay. you know, even acknowledging that it's a thing, I suppose, just autism in general I is think gay. He, I think he's, I think he's a bit autistic himself, though, is the thing. Uh, but he's like, mm. he's like, an, he's like, he's like, an, he's like an autistic kid that never, never felt love. I feel like he was <laughs> dropped more than that. Like he was dropped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe that explains yeah. the weird cranium shape he has. Um, so I'm going to group a few of them together because it's getting, you know, this is taking a while now. Caring for your girlfriend and buying flowers or gifts for your girlfriend or wife. Um, so again, this this is just liking women, right? So we're just going back to the same thing. Like, <clears throat> if you have a yeah, girlfriend, it's essentially... you're not supposed to care about her. You're supposed to like, she's your thing that you use for stuff, and that's it, right? 
Yeah. You don't get flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's gay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I bought my wife flowers. Oh my god, I'm closeted. Um, <laughs> for the next Who's one. It? Um, blowjobs. I always suspected. Blowjobs is gay, and it says here in brackets, giving and receiving. Receiving, giving. It says both. Okay, okay, thanks for but the clarification. But it also says Cunny, Ling- Cunny Linguist is also gay as well. Cunny <laughs> Linguist. Cunny Lingus. Cunny Linguist. Linguist. Cunny Linguist. How would he... How would he a cunning, uh, well, I am a cunning linguist. Uh, that's that's, that's got to be said. Um, how would... How, how would how would Andrew Tate say uh, Connie Lingus in the same voice that he uses to say water? Conning uh, uh, Linguus. Lingus. Gus. I don't fucking know, mate. Like, I have no idea. <laughs> is, is, his accent's such a hodgepodge of <laughs> random like sounds. Yeah. Yeah. It could it's sound, just, you know. Yeah, it's an affectation. Um, yeah, no, he, uh, again, he is, he really is a poisonous cunt, isn't he? He really is a, <laughs> a, 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 he, he really is a bucket of loose stool water. <laughs> so I would, you know, I mean, both, uh, so basically, it just, it, in my, in my head, it just feels such a boring, sort of vanilla existence to, to dislike, uh, you know, I mean, we're halfway almost halfway through this list and everything on it is just like so generic like normal shit and then just being like you know things like caring about women and liking cooking eating you know heads basically just just these things like saying oh no i'm not doing these because if i do i'm gay just what do you do all day if that's like half is my it, day, is that cooking, we, eating, and head? Are we, are we circling? Yeah, are we circling around the fact that he's just really lazy? Is that what it is? Or just very just, boring? Is it laziness? The Bit. most boring man in the world. <laughs> just like if Mr. <laughs> Bean like could eat. talk. Just, he <laughs> he's basically, you know, he's essentially described like he's describing Mr. Bean. With all these, <laughs> right. yeah. this is the most yeah. alpha yeah. heterosexual male in the world is Mr. Bean, the you know the fictional character that doesn't speak or yeah, interact yeah, yeah. with that, people. That, that's his, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's Andrew Tate's paragon. Of, <laughs> that's his idol. All right, this that, is that's a that's who he thinks all <laughs> up to. I think this maybe this all it ties into the previous one actually because pelvis is apparently is gay. <laughs> What does that even mean? What? what did you say? say that again. Pelvis. Pelvis is. Pelvis. Pelvis is. You know, Pelvis. like fucking hips and shit. Like that bit of your body. I, I know what a pelvis is, but I don't understand how. how just I that. Don't, I don't understand what. Just yeah. that region. Most, most, like, like, most of the other things have been. Like things you can either do or own it's just or a bit of an atom. Just, 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 just say number just, fifteen, pelvis. It's just says pelvis. Is. It doesn't <laughs> have any context. <laughs> oh, it, yeah, I was, I, I was going to say, does it say pelvis or pelvis is? Pelvis is like, more than one. Pelvis. Is. Yeah. So it's more than one in one right, place, okay. I suppose. I, I can't. Don't, I don't. Uh, I have no I'm, idea I'm, for that one. Uh, I yeah, I'm completely nonplussed by that. I'm not even going to. I, I I don't even yeah I I I don't even have any any comment on that. It's just so the next right. one is what's, debt. what's the next what's the next debt debt yeah debt as in being not paying bills and being in debt. I mean everyone well, has well, again, a bit of again, debt like... here and there for like you know you get car on finance home on finance student finance you know everyone has Dude, a bit like, of debt. Like, like for credit the system of lending money. Is is one of like the foundations of of capitalism. It, it's basically what got us from like a feudal society to like modern society. Without 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 debt and credit and being able to lend money, we wouldn't have gotten the industrial revolution. We we'd we'd still be you know mm. uh, living in little wood houses. You know, 
cooking with little wood fires. I think this is more basically oh, just saying... You're on a wood computer. <laughs> like a fucking wax tablet or whatever. Coding a website yeah, yes. in a wax we, tablet. Right, right, yeah, right. Writing with a stylus. But I, I think this is more just saying being poor. Not that's it. I mean, that's what he's probably getting at. Being poor, like not having yeah. enough money, not being rich, basically. Because this guy, you know, he's he's one of these sort of. I'm a baller, you know. I make loads of money, a hustler. Um, that's he's that a ball bag. A <laughs> ball bag, yeah, that's yeah. What he is. Yeah, fanny it's not sack. so much a baller as a ball bag. The fact. <laughs> A fucking fanny sack. Because um, this next one basically just goes. <laughs> I'm trying to keep. Trying to, I think I think fanny sack is definitely the word of the episode. I, I've got to keep coming back because I've never heard anyone say fanny, fanny sack before. I mean, fanny fanny pack is funny enough, but like, yeah, fanny sack. I couldn't think of the word, man. You just fuck, drop it. Fuck. Give it a rest. Come on, we're never gonna get through this. No, I, I no. I love it. Fucking fanny sack. Old, old cunty balls. Fanny sack. <laughs> cunty balls. Right. Yeah, so the next one just ties directly into that sort of, oh, being poor is gay. So flying in economy, which, you know, it's just like, you don't have the money to fly in, like, business class or whatever. I've Yeah, I've done that. I've done that dozens of times. Yeah. Dozens, dozens and dozens of times. I've, I, have you ever have you ever flown not economy? Um, No. <laughs> No. Okay, I got bumped. I got bumped up to business class once for free. Um, mm. I got lucky, and it was it was pretty nice. Like the seats were well comfortable in that, and the you know like the food was just better, shit like that. Mm. But the the thing was, it was on like a one leg of like a two or three leg journey. Right. Yeah. So it was. It actually. It, it it actually sucked. You know. It's like that thing of like. Oh, if I hadn't seen such such riches, I could live with being poor. It's like, <laughs> I literally, like got like for two or three hours, I was like mildly pampered. Yeah. And then I had to get off and fucking hump my bags across the airport and get on another plane where I was in economy again. And it's like, oh, it's feel. I I almost wish I hadn't have fucking done that. They hadn't have done that because it feels worse now. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I mean. I mean, if that makes sense. It's kind of gay as well, isn't it? The economy. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that that's why I love it. I love I love the I love the fact that I, my knees brush with other men's. There's a lot, and if we yeah, so if further down the list, um, we've got breathing the same air as other men, which I mean, if you are in oh, economy, oh. you're gonna be <laughs> you're gonna be free. And also, there was oh, where's it gone now? Or touching a surface that was previously touched by a penis. And that doesn't mean directly touched. It means that if, you know, someone sat somewhere and they had a penis and then you sat there after them, that's gay. So taking a I, flight I, 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 full I, I, stop is kind of gay because you're breathing the same air as other men and you're sat in a seat that other men have sat in. Sat in at this point, basically at this point, I think we can... Someone else's we can, ass. We can, at this point, I think we can conclude that being alive is gay. I mean, it seems like that way, doesn't it? Yeah. I think, point, is he, is he just trying that, to say something? Is this what he's getting I think, at? I think he's, he, he's trying just, to come out of the closet out? like the, this, in the most long-winded way ever. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I've got something to tell you. Would you like to read this list? <laughs> Not being called things Andrew. That, things, things that make you gay. <laughs> yeah, being called Andrew. Yeah, that's what it, Andrew is like. Kind of a gay name. Think so? Which is, which, is, which is gayer, Andrew or Andy? I think Andy. That's what I was sort of implying that and Andrew sounds yeah. a lot gayer than Andy. Oh really? Andy, I was gonna, Andy's I was a bit like, Andy, oh, it's Andy, 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 Andy. Gives you an Andy under I, the I, I, Andy. Andy. <laughs> Which isn't gay at all. <laughs> um, Honestly, so, neither of them actually so, sound very gay at all. I'm just taking a piss. Oh no. Um, see, I've been, I've been watching the the US version of The Office recently, and there's the character Andy, who is is straight, but he's also very gay. Right. Great. Like he's is he um, quite camp or? He's 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 quite camp and sort of. I mean, have you have you not seen the show? No, no. 
He's played by Ed Helms, um, who I also know from the, the the Hangover movies, and he's yeah, he's he's straight. Like a, like a lot of the sort of plot lines deal with him like wanting to get a girlfriend or wanting to get married or whatever. But he just he comes across as very camp and very um, uh, yeah, sort of like pays a lot of attention to his 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 like how he's dressed and stuff like that. And like uh, there is like a, 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 at least one episode where he he, he suspects that he is gay. <laughs> And he goes to the the other the only actual gay guy in the office, mm. and like starts trying to ask him, "Can you tell me whether I'm gay or not?" Like I, I'm paraphrasing. Um. Anyway, I don't know where where I was going that with that. Other than yeah, I I think and <laughs> I don't know. I think Andy sounds a bit. I don't know. Um. A, anyway. Um. Yeah. So so out of all the ones we've gone over, I, is it fair to say that we pretty much do or have done all of them? I think yeah, most of it. Uh, oh no, there's. The, so you, the, you, you've never had a fanny sack, have you? I think I actually did when I was sack? a kid. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's. Yeah, I definitely had one. Like, as a kid, hot with one. It probably had like a yo-yo in I it. I, I, I love. I love how I just got away with saying fanny sack as well. <laughs> a fanny sack. Yeah, oh, I had to get it removed. Fanny sack. Um. <laughs> but then it surgically go. It was. <laughs> The next couple are just like, so touching the, I mean, there's some of them are just a bit boring, so I might skip over them. Are, 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 there, are there any that you think that that realistically either of us might have done? Are there any that you're going to put to, or, or not have done rather? Um, yes, this one. Um, yeah. Not dying in a road accident. Wait, what? What is it? Wait, it's 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 gay to not die in it. So if you you have to survive if you're in a road accident. Oh no! Oh, you have okay. To... I was I, no, I... sorry. You have to die if you're in a road accident. If you survive, you're gay. Like fucking like Vikings, oh. like Valhalla or whatever. Like if you don't, if you're not killed by the Jesus vehicle, Christ. you you you, well, I, you go you you yeah. know if you're killed by the vehicle, you go to heterosexual Valhalla. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah. it's just all yeah. over, all where there's, where there's men. No, where there's no women. Where there's yeah, no women. There's no women at all. And no, all and no food. And no food, because that'd be gay as well. There's no, no food. food. There's no women. Or colour. You're just in a, just a glass yeah, box. No colour. So you can't breathe the same well, air as each other. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, yeah, it's just, it's just a massive uh, complex of little glass cubes <laughs> just full of men. <laughs> full of men like that like one meter cubes with, with nothing in them with and no you're just pelvises on there, like <laughs> so, so you're you're like hanging there your legs are sort of dangling <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> sounds great yeah right, sign me up sign me up you know what i'm not even gonna bother looking left or right next time i cross the road because that's where i want to go yeah this yeah, heterosexual Wait. Valhalla just sounds like. Actually, yeah, heterosexual if you, Valhalla. I might have to ask an AI art generator to uh, generate me an image of that and maybe try to use it for the post, I, I, for I the would, episode I would love cover. To see that. Yeah, that. Yeah, perfect. But all right, let, 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 let's yeah, sign me up for that. Um, speaking of which, do you, do you want to get onto some? Some some uh, or did you have anything more to say about this Andrew Tate thing? I mean, there's a few more. One that are well, a group here that very much sort of lean into the whole filthy incel kind of target audience that he seems to to like taking a dump, right. wiping after a dump, or washing your ass. Like for one, I mean, if you don't eat, you probably won't need to shit very often. But then if you do shit, much, you can't yeah. wipe or wash your ass after. Um, you just walk around with a fucking... Filthy ass, disgusting, yeah. Disgusting fucking... I mean... Like a monkey. Like, you know, just straight up take a shit, walk around with all the mat- mat- mottled shit ass like, fur. Oh my god. You can't wipe your ass. You could, like... <laughs> Because, because, have you ever had it? I've had it before. Have, have you ever had this where, where you've wiped your ass, but you've not done it quite, quite well enough? You've not, you've not, you know. And then, like after after an hour or two, you, it's like it starts, it's it's itching, it's uncomfortable. You got, yeah, you got so, the, the I mean, skid you have marks to go going and, on. You have to go and clean yourself. It's, it's, the, 
it's thoroughly unpleasant. It's thoroughly unpleasant. But that that's if you don't wipe quite thoroughly enough. You're saying you don't you're, wipe he's at all. saying don't even don't even bother in the first place. <laughs> that's going to be like a don't even try. That's going to be like a daily thing. It's not worth it. You're just going to have to wipe bother. again later. <laughs> Why? It's like, why brush your teeth? Yeah. You're only going to have to brush them again tomorrow. Why wipe your ass? You're only going to have to wipe it again next time. Just become this, you, gay. you know, disgusting blob of, like, fecal matter and <laughs> your own waste. Pelvisless glob. Yeah. Pelvisless glob. <laughs> don't even... Don't even... <laughs> Don't even have a bum bag to carry your stuff around in. Don't even have a fanny sack. You're just lying there going, <laughs> can't, you can't see in colour. So you, you're just, <laughs> just going, oh. I can just like imagine you, some like, amorphous like, blob with like, you know, quite, and that's it's, the it's ideal heterosexual ass. man. Just a <laughs> shitty sphincter. Uh, yeah, and... Oh, Christ. Oh, Jesus. I mean, there's, weirdly, there's a bunch of stuff about, like, um, carrying your child, uh, playing with children, having any kind of contact with children. So just, like, you can't be near kids, basically. <laughs> you've got, got, you've got a restraining order. So... <laughs> no. I mean, so this, yeah, amor- yeah, this blob, shitty blob, <laughs> just rives, <laughs> but it can't be within like five miles of a school either. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this, I mean, <laughs> people, you know, we've, dis- think, we've. I don't think this, this this abominable creature would last more than more than a day or so. I mean, you I know, think, at least I think it's not it'd gay. Spend a day. In... <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. It, I mean, is the, the elephant in the room? Is is this real? Are we just are we just saying you no? Know, I, I wouldn't put it past him. What? I, I think the thing is, a lot of this is just some. It, he, he thinks he's been really profound, and the same, you know, there's not. He's not the only person like this. He's not the only sort of toxic influencer who has these absolutely mm. shit takes on, you know, what makes you an alpha heterosexual male. But he'll probably just think it's like a shower thought, you know. He'll be like having a shower, and he thinks, oh, actually. Bubbles um, or water, water bottles. Um, That's a bit gay, isn't it? Yeah, and then you know, and then he'll make the a people. make a little video about it, and it'll get you know millions of views and shares and stuff. One half of it's probably just people sharing it ironically and laughing at the, the idiot, but then also there's you know a lot of people who who go actually yes, using an umbrella is gay. Um, I'm not using an umbrella ever again. Um, is that on the list? Is yeah, that on the it is list? actually on the list. <laughs> using an umbrella. Okay. Um, you can own one, you just can't use it. Uh, it doesn't say anything about owning one. Right. But so, so, yeah, it's just, I think he just, it's just a load of nonsense. Um, and it's very contradictory, a lot of it as well, isn't it? It's like... Yeah, Absolutely. It's yeah, it's complete. It's complete podswallop. It's complete like like it, like. I mean, we've been laughing at it a bit, but if 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 you really try to take it seriously for very long, you'd you'd very quickly. I I, always, I... <laughs> I mean, it, I think it's insulting from everyone for for like literally every point of view. Like for someone who is you know, if if someone is gay, I think saying a lot of these things are gay. It's just like I mean, well, I mean, some of them I, I would just be like, yeah, whatever. If you want to call, if you want to say that we own wearing glasses, fine. Caring for your girlfriend, I mean that. I mean, you could be a you know a gay woman, that's fine. It's like, but then things like, uh, well, in fact, in fact, I think it's almost complimentary a lot of it. Crying. I mean, maybe that implying that gay people cry a lot. Maybe that's a little insulting. <laughs> Eating. I think a lot of it. Like if you if if you take it from the other side and say, gay people are really good at like you know cooking and they like colours and they you know they greet people. Um, but then uh, maybe you know masturbation. They jerk off a lot. Um, I suppose it could be insulting. 
I don't know. It's just such a fucking wacky list of nonsense, isn't it? Um, mm. But yeah, I think everyone should just be insulted that that man has a voice um, and so many yes. people yes. listen. Yeah. It's, uh, somehow Andrew Tate has happened and on some level we all let him happen and mm. we should all feel very ashamed. Well, I mean, he's, you know, he's <laughs> just one of many absolute ball bags, fanny sacks who, um, fanny sacks, <laughs> fanny sacks who, who, who's been able to leverage social media to bombard the internet with their utter shit takes and get a following mm. of numpties who, uh, you know, eat that, eat that shit up. They eat Andrew Tate's oh, shit. Eat the eat the eat his shit. That's what they do. Which, which, ha- which has to be at least three or four counts of being gay. I mean, yeah, it's on a list in at least three areas. That. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, all right. Well, moving on. Do you, uh, did you have some some questions you wanted to ask me? I did. Yeah. So this is probably better in another episode since it's already been an hour. Um. Oh, okay. Is it? Is it? Is, oh God, yeah, it has been. It has been a fair <laughs> while. Well, should we wrap things? Should we wrap things up then? Yeah, I feel like this is going to be the bulk of the episode. Maybe we could trim it down a bit, but um. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll see how it gets in the edit. I mean, I, I assume that I'm going to put on stick on the, the first half hour. So it has been nearly an hour, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. So. So, are, are, are you gay, and are you offended by what we've said? Um, I, I don't think we've said anything offensive, but I, I'm, I'm offended. I'm offended on behalf of straight people, gay people, um, sheep. Children, women. Um, any Humanity, basically. I think humanity's been insulted but, by... But, yeah. I, no, I agree. Uh, I'm offended on behalf of, of uh, fanny packs. Fanny packs. <laughs> Manufacturers, fanny packs, fanny sacks, um, <laughs> ball bags, bum bags, bums, uh, these straps, and um, and uh, stroke totes. But yeah, if you if you need to go online and listen to a shit take, we're always here, and um, you know we won't tell you what to do. Uh, and what's gay and what's not. Um, just live your life, man. Do what you want. Just wipe your yeah, fucking you ass, wanted... though, please. Cause no one wants to smell yeah, that really. dirty, you, stanky ass. You, you, def- you definitely, if you want to, if you want to do any of the things we've listed, or not do them, that's that's up to you. That's your call. But but do wipe your ass. <laughs> Brush your teeth. Don't walk around with a, have a shower. Don't walk around with a shit. Don't walk around with a shitty ring piece all day <laughs> just for your own sake as much as anyone else's just don't don't do that and anyway yeah so i have been hatman certified gay i've been jj uh diagnosed gay. gay diagnosed gay <laughs> yeah i mean you autistic so you you know technically are diagnosed gay <laughs> i, I diagnose you with double gay, gay. <laughs> they, 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 they invented it. Yeah, yeah. Gayest of the gays. Uh, um, well, it's good to be back. Take care, everyone. And uh, if you want to hit us up with any questions, just email jj.hm at jj.hm.podcast at gmail.com. Uh, uh, or, you know, catch us on YouTube. See you later, homos.